So basically, you can do the same thing. Engage this community, or basically, it's him. He's literally <laughs> driving him. Uh, so you can engage in professional learning through distant learning with him. So that's what I did in the past. About since I was in YJ about four years back, I've been engaging in this forum, and then I found that I have actually learned a lot. I have personally grown in my ability to uh, understand physics a little bit better because of the coding. Minimal coding, I don't worry lah. Uh, but the interface, everything is all set up. What we need to know is our basic equations of physics. Input it in and it can create really interesting applets. Uh, which can be used by the student as a learning environment. Okay, so... Uh, if you have internet, you can try SG Education. So... If you scroll this down to the... You can, you can look at... These are some of the things I've been doing. Uh, and Java applets are actually embedded here. And this is the this is the workshop that I'm conducting today here. So you can read about it uh, if you're interested. Uh, this is my blog. Okay, so now that we are here, so just to quickly go through. Uh, going around, you can see that I've given a few stacks of my name card, so you need to look for me. Then uh, there's also a calendar. That one is a, that's a, so the, the calendar is a mechanism for me to, to, to spread the idea of this uh, website. It's called the ICT Connection. Okay. So you have copied the contents of the CD into your computer desktop. If you have not, please do so uh, while we handle all these admin things. Okay, so, uh, you can read about this. How many of you are physics teachers? Uh? Okay, so okay, to, to cater for those who are still very much in the consumer mode, uh, that means you just want to get things, get good curriculum material, Java tablets, and use it in your classroom, uh, fine. I will go through some of the better websites that can get these materials. Uh, this one is called the Open Source Physics by the Friday.org. Uh, just click on it. You just type Open Source Physics OPS. Then it should be one of the popular. Let's say I'm interested in this 1D ocean. So you can come here, uh, do register. Because once you register, you actually can, can write your own comments in a web kind of way. And actually, are interested to, to know what you're doing with the resource there. So you can click on the download button, uh, save it to your desktop or somewhere. Okay, double click on it. Uh, if you have Java runtime running in your PC, uh, this is what you can see. Okay, this is basically EJS. Okay, it comes up with a basic uh, HTML to explain to you what the uh, simulation is about. And People who created this curriculum material will usually give some uh, instruction how to modify the simulation, how to use it in your own classroom teaching. So if you find that this one fits your purpose, then you could uh, just use your... Okay, I'm just going to skip this. So what these those things that I am uh, more familiar, maybe this is a, a spring lab that you're interested in, you can just download it and uh, put it in your LMS or put it in your own personal website, you have to attribute the original author. That's the only condition because as far as copyright is concerned, you will really be given permission to use this material as long as it's for education. I'll just attribute where you got it from and then that, that's it. You don't have to go through the uh, legal hassle of uh, getting permission to email back and forth, which usually nobody bothers to reply. You don't have the experience today. Yeah. So, it is... Powerful uh, licensing kind of uh, mechanism. Permission is already given if, even before you ask. So let's say this is a virtual lab that you're interested in. Same thing, it comes with a basic HTML to tell you how to use it. Okay, I'm just going to close it. And now in this applet, you can see that you can actually play it and then get certain uh, practical representation. 
So in its original form, you may find that it doesn't suit your learning purpose. Then how? Uh, you all have uh, internet running in your Okay, you, if I'm not wrong, uh, you right click, you can actually open this EGS model, uh, select OK, then select a position to save it. For me, it's uh, SG Education, then followed by my name. And I'm just going to save the whole thing here. And then, like magic, like that, it launches the, the Java console. Just allow it. And then very powerfully, you can see that EGS runs the, the building kit. So this is how it looks like in the building kit. Okay, it has the basic description okay, to give the, the other educators or the student uh, an idea of how this equation or how this simulation is done. Okay. Then you have the model. If you, if you do a little bit of uh, computational physics, you know you cannot run away from defining variables. So uh, they are simple variables, but the good thing is, because this is open source, uh, normally, or in this case it is not, but normally what we do is we, we will give a comment to the variable here. So this is t, this is the time. Uh, this is y, this is the y coordinate of the particle, and, and so on, uh, this velocity, y direction. Uh, this is obviously the 9.1 and all that. So you define your variable, uh, initialize, initialization you may need to know, refer to the handout, later I'll go through the example here, okay. Then evolution, uh, this is like uh, dy dt, you all understand differential equation right, so this is dy dx then is equal to this variable called uh, dy, okay. There are certain fixed relationship, but here this is blank. Okay. Then when you press this button here, then it compiles it again. You can actually view the simulation again. Okay, so this is a very quick overview of the Comprade website. There are actually some material released by uh, the US group of physics professors, you can take a look at them for some of the EGS resources. Uh, but if you talk about the true master of uh, EGS user, it's actually this. And I get actually this professor, Huang, he has made uh, numerous, I think close to 500 at, at the last count simulation, which is all free for you to use. So if you have an internet connection, you will download it in the HTML and then let's see whether the applet launch or not. Okay. So you can click on the download and then save a copy in your hard disk and then you can use it in your, in your classroom, offline or online, doesn't really matter.